We need to reunite. We need to find out where Vice is. Ooh, peppers. So we're at, we're at a capital, capital area. Can I expect just like a larger version of Maramba? Hey, what's up with you guys? Ew! You're defending the entire city. Kazima. Hey, can I go up there? I can, all right. Let's do a little exploration while Vice slowly dies on a deserted island. It's kind of weird playing as Fina. Or, no, not Fina. Playing as Ika. Instead of Fina. Hey, buddy! You want them to attack? Don't worry, you'll get your chance to fire your cannon. Apparently, you're about to be attacked. You got a name? Yeah, uh, he did have a name. His name is whatever. Kazuma Muma! Forgot his name. Can I switch? Uh, I can't I can't even switch like the party um order. This is so weird, we're seeing like a whole new set of animations for Ika as opposed to Vice. Alright. We gotta find information. Well, first we gotta find a place to sleep for these two. And then find out any information as to where Vice could possibly be. So, time to start talking to every single random NPC in this place. Go! You have a gross face. You guys are sailors, right? We don't even have a ship anymore. What about you? God damn, these guys have some mean looking faces. Sorry. I didn't even say anything. Whoa, what's in these? Weapons and ammunition. Maybe we could steal a box. All right, opposite end of the dock reveals pretty much nothing unless there's a cham. And I don't see a moonfish anywhere. There's a nice looking ship that might be a way of getting out of here. And I don't see any, like, fairies floating around that would indicate that there are moonfish. I like the looks of this ship right here. It looks so much like the Little Jack, and yet, it's not. But I don't see any cannons, so this must not be what we're getting out of here on. Damn it! Alright, let's ascend into the city. We gotta find something. There's gotta be some information. So wow, look at that JPEG! <laughs> All right. Yo, he's got a friendly face, even though it's still kind of scaring me. Blah blah blah. This must be the end as indicated by the symbols above. Yep, and the safe house, and the safe spot, and everything. Alright, well this is a place that we're gonna sleep tonight. So at the very least, we should explore the rooms. It won't open, it's locked. It's also locked, God damn it. I don't want to explore the entire city right now because we're stranded, so let's just talk to her. Uh, didn't she give us 5,000 gold? 
You're not gonna spend some of that? What do you mean we have no money? We have five grand. Thanks to what's her name? Vice is dying on a stranded island. <laughs> Oh, so we're saving the money that we got from Clara. So tell nobody about it. <laughs> yeah, you get to sleep on a nice warm bed. I get to sleep on a pile of rocks! Roughly in the shape of a bed! Well, we're in the Red Moon territory. If you're looking at the same moon right now, <laughs> fat chance. There's six moons. And you're looking at the red one. Hey, maybe that is a way we can determine where we are. What moon can Vice see from where he is? That'll give us at least a hint. He can see the red moon, so we're close to Maramba and Nasari. Nasri, I don't know. Well, so begins our life on an island, and the girl's life working in the desert capital to raise money to buy a ship. So now we're like playing as two different parties at the same time. Vice has to survive on this island long enough for Aika and Fina to raise money to get a ship to save Vice wherever he is. Time to go hunting. Alright. God damn, this sucks. Oh, that's where you buried Gonzalez? Sure, why not? Um, I did see those berries. Do these berries count as food? I guess you. I guess they're just scenery, or that's not what they want me to get. Battles! Random battles? What the fuck? Holy shit! Oh, I've only got... Ew! Oh, man. Can I eat these? I can cast Pyrie. I have enough special spirit points to cast Pyrie. And that's about it. Moons, give me strength. Please give me strength. Oh, thank God. Okay. So I'm strong enough to handle whatever this island throws at me. Can I eat those? That was easy. Oh, I get crap experience though. Hey, grapper meat, so I can eat those. All right, we have food. Question. Yep, I have all the money. God damn it, Vice has all the money. That's probably enough money to buy a small ship. Too bad the girls don't have it. Alright, what items do I have? I have all the items. Wow. I got the Chalms and the Chams and the Sky Sardises. And the Moonberries. Oh, this sucks. Alright. I also have the Moonstones. Okay. Wow, I have all the important shit, and yet both of us... Both the girls and Vice have, like, a copy of the Moonstone. Weird. Maybe there's fish in this pond. I doubt it. The cool thing about killing them with Pyrie is that it kind of cooks the meat in advance. So, keep using Pyrie. Actually, what color are these things? They're green. So Pyrie actually is a weaker thing that I could use. Moons. Red magic isn't effective against green stuff, but I guess that these things are just so weak and I'm so strong that it all worked out. <laughs> that was easy. Again, complete trash experience. Some more grapper meat though. 
How much gra how much does each of these grapper meats, you know, give me? A meat from a rare fish, the grapper. This fish is only found on the forest of Crescent Island. Well, the description of the meat I just got tells me where I am. I'm on a place called Crescent Island. Whatever that wherever that is. So now the girls just need to find out where that is and get over here. So what, do I just have to run around getting into random battles? Well in that case, how about I equip this black map? Increase the chance of random battles. There. Leads enemy creatures to the holder, also improves chance of first strike. There we go. I just lowered my attack significantly, but I'll get into more random attacks and harvest this grapper meat faster. One grapper? Kill that thing. Ha! Miss! Ha! What the hell? Fine, use magic, I don't care. Moons, get me straight. I'll fry that fucking fish. There we go. <laughs> so, easy. magic is pretty much the only way to deal with these things. They have way too much evasion. One wrapper me, damn. Is there any other source of food besides these gross pus fish? I can't even tell if the black map is working or not. Hey, here's a bunch of them. Pyrie, go! Moons, give me strength. That should be enough. This meat's gonna spoil before I can eat it because I'm getting so much! It's gotta be enough. Come on. Is there anything in here now? Possibly something bigger that I can run into? And kill? Random bear! Nope, okay. Man, the island life is hard. You know what, I never did get to explore that little base that I found myself in. Let's go check it out. Uh, let's see, we've got some wood. A very, very damaged bucket and cup made of wood. Or some very rusty metal. A treasure chest with some money. How did he get money? Probably from the damn fish that he's fighting. A diary from Gonzalez. Yeah, read the diary. He's dead. Who cares? It's been 20 years since I landed here. No ship passed by and I have no means to build my own. Holy crap. He was here for 20 years. What was your promise, Gonzalez? What was your promise? Oh man. 20 years. Well, that kind of fills me with hope that he was able to survive on this island for 20 years. And we do have a means to build a ship because we have pretty much all of a ship. We just gotta fix it. In fact, let's go investigate the lifeboat. Maybe now Vice has some idea on how to repair it. Fry, you stupid fish! Ow! Moons, give me strength! Ah. 
Is it over already? More grapper meat! Nice. Well, you know, oh, okay, I guess we have enough meat. Well, you know what, since Gonzalez was able to survive here for 20 years, that means that, uh, Vice, not Vice, Ika and Fina have plenty of time to save up money for a ship. Those things taste pretty good. Well, that's good. Good. Now you can focus on other things, like getting the hell off this island. Not according to Gonzalez, sh ship didn't pass for 20 fucking years. You're gonna need more than... Alright, so we spent the second day gathering. That was the second day. I started my third day with a big breakfast. Alright, cool. Get to work doing what? Building a giant bonfire or fixing the little lifeboat? Nope, he's building a signal fire. He's gathering little sticks. No, that's where he's decided to build the fire. Out of stones and sticks and leaves and twigs. How are you gonna start the fire, Vice? Oh wait, he knows magic. As long as I got a um, magic droplet and don't run out of mana. Day three. On the fourth day, I hear things. Do you not hear those animals? So now I'm gathering sticks. Oh man, the island life is a hard life. I have to gather sticks. I have to fight weak as hell grappers. There's more sticks. I don't know why I didn't want to eat those berries. Man, if it was me on this deserted island, I'd get those berries. I'd try to find some herbs that don't smell like poison. And I'd make some soup. Or something, I don't know, some kind of cool sauce with the berries, put on the fish, grill the fish, stuff the fish with the berries. I'm gonna go investigate the ship. Oh, there's more wood. Are you really gonna call it quits without having- oh, God damn it! I wanted to look at the ship. Four days on this island. And he has not even attempted to start, built, like, dragging the ship into a place where it doesn't get rained on. Struck by lightning. We need to drag that ship, that lifeboat. We need to drag that lifeboat into the cave, the bigger cave, and start repairing it. There you go. Finally, he's got the idea. God damn. You dragged that ship into the big cave. Also, I don't like that he's living in a cave that's below the ground level because if it floods, then he's going to be in he's going to be swimming in that cave. Moonstones lying around the rain probably unearthed a few. Alright, so now I'm looking for mu moonstones. All ships run on moonstones. So what do those look like? They look like little... I've seen the big moonstones. They look like... Aha! There we go. There's one. Is that a good big one or what? Time to look for more. So we're looking for rocks with big red stones in them. Do that. I see one up here. You'd spend all your day digging up these moonstones. Is that all we need to fix the ship? Moonstones? Do moonstones make everything better? 
For ships, you know, just like, uh, throw some moonstones at it, it'll self-repair like a Terminator. Right, we got three. What about... over here? Even though it didn't rain in the cave, could I find one in the cave, randomly? I keep checking this cave as if something's gonna be in here. There's nothing in here. And there's another moonstone. Could've swore you looked over here as soon as you walked out of your fucking cave. It's a red moonstone, which means I'm somewhere near in the sun. I could've told you that, cause you were, you could see the giant red, where the fuck is it? You can see the giant red moon in the sky! Gah. There we go. One more will be enough? Alright. Then let's find one more. Ah, there's one more! Convenient for you! That's why we had to find so many, because they haven't been processed. How do you process a moonstone? Come on, I play a lot of Minecraft. I know how to build a furnace and punch trees. I don't think any of that knowledge is going to help me here, though. we got to play by the Skies of Arcadia rules. We've been here for one week. What about Ika and Fina? Can we check in on them? I guess not. No one cares. They got jobs. That's boring. There you go. Good as new. We fixed this ship. We're getting out of here. We know where Fina and Ika are. We just don't know where that is in relation to us. What if we run into a battle while on this lifeboat? It's big enough for two people. I wonder how he's doing this with no tools. Unless he has tools in those pockets of his. Maybe his freaking eye patch turns into a screwdriver. Did he, was he able to process the moonstones, or is that one of the crystals? He's fucking powering the lifeboat with one of the ancient moon crystals or some shit. Uh, the power to summon the Gigases is now used to power my lifeboat! Flies at Mach 1! Hell yeah! Go right now! Let's go! Oh, you're gonna wait one more day. Big mistake, something terrible's gonna happen. Fucking meteor's gonna fall from space, land right on your ship, crack it into a thousand pieces. Huh? Hey, ship! Whoa! That is a weird looking ship. Why don't you get on the boat and fly to the ship? Well, either way, we're getting off this island. On that ship, or on our little lifeboat. That's got a black sail. And a black flag. Is that not a blue rogue? Oh! Yep. Is it attacking us, or... Is it letting us know? Okay, well, we've been rescued! Hooray! Island life is over. Whoa! Photos of real women. As opposed to, like, the style of this game. Captain Glider. Lola. Oh. Oh. Ah! 
All right, cool. Hey, Willie! Willie the parrot! Ha! Oh, God damn it! his name's Willie. I've been reduced to a parrot. Two generic looking NPCs. This guy's completely covered in red, and his ship is red. He's like the polar opposite of me. I'm all covered in blue. My name's Vice, I'm the protagonist. Nice parrot. Crazy ass helmet. Glider! The ship's name is Claudia. This beast on my shoulder is Willy. <laughs> my adventures. I spent two weeks gathering wood, killing fish, and fixing an airboat. A little lifeboat. <laughs> oh, those adventures. Okay, yeah, that's more adventurous than what I did on the island. Cool. Women are like sunsets. They're beautiful, but there will be a different one tomorrow. That's my motto. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good motto. There's the sunset that you see the next day is still the same sun, so I don't know how it's a different sunset. I think that his motto was messed up, but I don't want to insult the guy who just rescued me. You gonna let some random kid you saved take the wheel of your ship? Okay, whatever. Maybe he's just lazy. I'm heading for Nazrid. South of here. Speaking of maps, we did get that. Gliders joined the party. Cool, we got a new party member. To replace Drachma. And we got a ship to replace the little Jack. This is where I was? This thing turns on a dime! Holy shit. I can't go back. Oh, I can go back. Fine. Yep. What about, where's the lifeboat that I fixed up? Nowhere to be seen. Whoa, his lifeboat is almost as big as the little Jack. It's ridiculous, man. His lifeboat has a room! Wow. This guy's ship is like twice as big as the little Jack. Alright, glider, level 24. He's conveniently the same level we are. And, uh, I guess I might as well check. Yep. He's got Glider's own, which is a gun. And he's training it for purple. Glider's mail. I got some victory mail. Not as good. So Glider's mail is better. By like a small amount. Glider's amulet. It's better. It's the best thing I've got. I should take the black map off before I forget. Captain's hat. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Alright. My life on that island is over, so I should start training again. What's his magic stuff? He's pretty good at magic. Wow. Alright. Let's get him trained on... Blue, actually. Instead of purple. There we go. I'm sorry to emboss you around. Oh, he can already learn a super move. Glider lets loose two handguns at the same time, damaging all enemies in a straight line. Great, it's a replacement for Alpha Storm. Whatever. Do it. Gunslinger! 